To create advanced gearbox we need Configurate gearbox Gear control panel The first channel is responsible for upshift, second for downshift Let's take the controller and create outputs in it to control gearboxes For convenience I will number them the channel number of the composite is responsible for the gearbox number. That is, if the composite number is 1, then it must interact with the first gearbox. Now, let's connect it all. This NAMIC output gives the current gearbox number. Now, open our program, create gearbox in it. The left column is responsible for the values, then the gearbox is on, the right one then is off. Also, if the first left number is greater than the right one, then gearbox will be in the reduction mode, else it will be in the increase mode. Click Calculate. Now we got gears. We can remove unnecessary gears by clicking minus next to them. The top right box show the total number of gears. The agents column show how many times the airpace will rise in the percentages. The left field means what will be minimal difference between agents gear in the percent. Click copy. Go to Lua script. In the num gear value, enter the number of gears. We have a five in total. In num gearbox, we enter the number of gearboxes, we have 3. In gearbox, instead of the curly braces, we enter the copied valve from the program. Check script for errors and exit the controller. Start the engine, turn on the clutch. Look at the repairs. Starting to upshift. Gearbox walk.